Hey, John here. Here's Liquor Today number 152, another Yngwie inspired pick and run. As usual, I'm gonna play it once slowly and then break it down. During the breakdown, I'm gonna share some practice advice you can apply to this one and pretty much anything else you're practicing. If you want the tabs, you have a link down in the description below. So we're gonna start here on the 20th fret of the high E string. Alright, this one is based on E natural minor for the most part, it's just at the very end here. We had this natural 7th instead of the flat 7, but we'll get to that later. Uh, it's based, I would say probably 90% of the lick is going to be based on this 6 note sequence. Uh, we start up here on the B string with 17, 19, 20. So if you number the notes from left to right, one, two, three, the sequence is three, one, two, three, two, one. Three, one, two, three, two, one. So starting with a downstroke. This sequence, I first heard this played by Yngwie in the song Jet to Jet from the first uh, Alcatraz album, I believe it was. Anyway, it's a, it's a classic section where he basically plays pretty much what I'm playing here except he repeats it twice on each string and it's in B minor so check that out for like the original uh, version of this stuff but also th this sequence has been used everywhere uh, from anyone who's even decent that alternate picking has played its sequence at some point so it's a very valuable sequence to know all right so we have the same uh, frets on the B string and the E string in this case. So you just repeat the sequence once on the B string and then you go to the E string. And this also makes it very easy to practice because you can basically just sit there in front of the TV and just go. And you can also move it around in half steps, obviously. So it's almost like a picking exercise in itself. So it's very, very good for your ultimate picking if you, especially if you're new to this stuff, because there's a lot of notes on each string, so you don't have to focus that much on the string crossing, and you get a lot of reps in on a single string where you actually, I think it's the easiest way to develop your overall synchronization. So it's a really good one. So uh, after that part we're going to go down to the next set of six notes here which will be 15 17 19 on both strings so pretty easy to remember so put them together and then we go down to the last position here which will be slightly different we're going to have 13 15 17 and then on the e string 14 15 17 and goes like this and now after that we're gonna change into a single string uh, repeating pattern here this is another Yngwie classic uh, where you go so basically has three notes descending and then you shift down a half step then you ascend three notes so and I do that twice then we're going to move up to the 20, uh, 19th fret and play this uh, three string sweep arpeggio. Then I slide, slide back down again and then slide back up again and just go down this complete uh, E minor arpeggio. And that's at a slower pace. So most of this stuff is going to be 16 note triplets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So basically uh, 16th notes here at the end. And I like this shape in, when it comes to slower arpeggios because it sounds more melodic to my ears when 
you get this slide sound, which isn't ideal when you want to play it really fast because it sort of disrupts the notes. But for these a bit slower, a bit slower arpeggios, it actually sounds very good. Uh, and what I'm playing here is just 19, 15, 17, and then we have 16, 12, and then basically going down this E minor bar chord type shape. So we got 12, 14, 14, and then 15, 12. And the way that I picked this one, actually I should probably show you how I picked the, this one at first. It's just gonna be down, pull off, up, down, 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 and then upstroke, and then I slide. And I think I started this one with the slide again. So pull off, then just up, up, slide, up, 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 down. But again, this one is a bit slower, so you can get away with more stuff here. You don't need to be as efficient. And if anything here is too fast or I overlooked something, it's just because I, I spent a lot of time on making sure that the tabs are as correct as possible in, in line with my fast version. So everything should be there uh, if I haven't screwed up massively and then you need to let me know, but they should be, they should be really good. And also you have uh, scale shapes as well, and arpeggio shapes in the tabs, so you can actually see much clearer what you're actually doing. And besides that, I've also spent the time to notate the, the scale degrees, so you know what you're actually playing, which is, I think is way more important than the actual licks here, so you actually can see where everything is coming from. All right, so if you have any questions, just post them below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next one.